Hi, so now we have our URLs and our views. We can see what the products in our database and we can open one product. So first of all, we need to change this URL, this one. We need to add a, a meaningful name. So first of all, let's open our code. And in general, there is something called slug. And we can open this in the documentation. So just we, if you wanted to know more, we're gonna say Django slug field. And in the documentation, there is a lot of things talks, that talks about slug field, how can you use it and so on. So this, let's search for slug. So now we have this slug field. And it's a newspaper term. A slug is a short label for something containing only letters, numbers, underscores, or hyphens. They are generally used in URLs. So this is slug field used in the URL. So if we, if we wanted to make the URLs has a meaning, so we're gonna use slug. So let's add a slug to our project. So first of all, on our models, here, we need to add a slug field. So after created, we're gonna say slug. So I'm gonna say slug equal to, and then we'll say models dot slug field. Yeah, just like this. And I'm gonna give it blank equal to true to accept null and also null equal to true. Just to accept null and blank from us. Okay. And now we've added the slug field. And here we need to import slug file. This is a tool to use by Django. If you take a look at the documentation. And I think we're gonna find it. We have the Unicode equal true. Validate and we we can do this from the, the pre-populate fields in the Django admin, but we're gonna use something else. So let's import slug file. So we're gonna see from Django, the tutels, the text, and then we're gonna import sluggy file, yeah, like, like this. So let's move down. We're gonna override the Django save method. So when you create a new product model and if you wanted to save it, we have a method in the model class called save, and we need to override the save so that before saving, we save our slug data. So we're gonna save the save. And this save method takes action, the cell from us, the args, and the keyword args. Yeah, just like this. So we're gonna say, if not, if there is nothing called cell for the slug, this slug has no data, so we're gonna say there is no self for a slug. So we're gonna say and there is self root name and there is a self root name. We need to save the data of the name to the slug. So we're gonna say self dot name or self sorry the slug equal to sluggify. Slugify the self dot name. So this, if, if we don't have a slug and we have a name like iPhone 6, we need to slugify this iPhone 6 and create a slug. So this is self, yeah. And create this slug, okay. And let's save this, we're gonna say super. And we need to give it the name of the model, the product. And we need to give it the self dot save and save sticks orgs and the keyword orgs yeah like this so let's save this let's run our server and let's open admin let's open product yeah no such column product or slug yeah because we we've changed something in our models and we did not run make migration migrate. So let's run this make migration migrate. So change the meta option in product images and add fail select to product. 
my create and let's run our server. So now let's refresh our page. So we have our product, so if we want iPhone 6. So now at the end of our page, we have a slug. So this slug, actually in our models, we said that this slug accepts blank and null. So we can leave it blank. So let's hit save. So when we press save, this will, ex will be executed before the save is happening. So we are overriding the save method. So first of all, then we'll check if we have a slug or not. So we don't have a slug because it's blank. So Jen will check, do we have a name? Yes, we have a name, So because we have a name, iPhone 6. So Jen will take this name and the will slug fight. We'll remove the spaces and add underscores instead in this name. And we'll save this, this slug fight name into the, the slug. So if we hit save, so let's hit save. And let's open iPhone 6 again. So now we have iPhone dash 6. So slug fight removed the dashes, uh, the spaces, and add a, a dash. So let's let's use the, this also with the MacBook Pro. So now we have a title or a name, MacBook Pro. With, but we don't have a slug. So if we hit save, Django will take this name and the slugify it and save it in the slug. So let's hit save. So we've got an error category. Yeah, we need to define category and the define brand. So let's hit save. If we open MacBook Pro, we can see that we have MacBook Dash Pro. So now we've added a slug to our training guide. Every time you create a new product, this slug will be filled automatically from the Django. Now we need to use this slug in our URLs. So first of all, let's start the story from the beginning. First of all, when we see the ID in our in our URL. So first of all, we see this ID in our URL. So we need to change this in our URL first. So here we take an int equal to ID. So we need to change this. So we're gonna say we're gonna use slug, and this is slug with name of let's say product underscore slug. So it's the name of this slug is product slug. So let's save this. And in our views, we take this slug, this ID, and the view. So we need to change this to slug, product slug, and this print to this product slug. And instead of retrieving this product detail using the ID, so we're gonna say slug equal to product slug. And now our server is running, and let's go to the products, and let's open iPhone dash six. So now we can see that we've moved to iPhone 6 page, the one product page, using this slug. So now we've fixed this and we've added a slug. And we need to add a URL in our templates to make this happen easily. So in this, in the product, we're going to add an anchor. And let's take this at the end of this. Yeah, just like this. Let's save. So if we move to the product, so now this is as a URL. And we need to add a URL in here. So I'm gonna add a URL in a Django way, Django templates way. So now we're gonna say URL. So first of all, in our main URL, let's, so let's open our main URL. We have, so we have this products. This is our main URL and the product. So here we need to define a name is base and it's a name for this product for this URL actually. So I'm gonna say products products. So I'm gonna take this name copy and in the product list I'm gonna say products. This is the name is base and column and let's open the nested URL. So in the product detail we have a name product detail so we need to save this and in our last we're gonna see product detail so now we've added the name is base the main url name perhaps and we've added the detail name is which is product detail and we have something else and product does this does this url takes a parameter yes this url takes a parameter which is the product slug so we need to provide this product slug and our URL also so we're gonna say product slug 
So now we've added the name space name, uh, column, then product detail, then the slug. So now let's refresh our page. So we've got an error. What is this error? So let's take a look. Actually, the server is not running. Yeah. So now we've connected uh, this nested URL with our main URL without providing an app name. So we need to provide this. So in our nested URL, here we're going to say app name equal to and give it our app name, so which is product. Yeah, just like this. And let's run our server again. So now let's refresh our page. And we've got an error. Reverse full product detail with arguments not found. Why this is happening? I'm gonna say. Now on the detail page, we are providing the name is base and then the product detail. But we did not provide the slug for this product in our loop. So we're gonna say product dot slug not underscore slug dot slug. And now let's refresh our page. So now we have iPhone 6 and the MacBook Pro. If we open iPhone 6, we can see iPhone 6 in the view. MacBook Pro, we can see MacBook Pro. So now we're giving, we're using the name of the namespace, underscore, colon, sorry, colon, product retail. Then we're giving it the slug of our current product and the loop to open this product. So now we've fixed the issue of slug and URL. Uh, everything is working fine right now. We can see all the products. We can open a single product and so on. I think it's the same that we add our templates. So we need to add our front end templates to our project. And we're going to do this but in the next lecture. See you next lecture.